for the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shots. Never the Mad Cheese, as always. Got another Player Rings update video for you guys today, as well as some roster likeness updates that I didn't go over from yesterday's video. If you guys missed it, yesterday was the uh, the title update that had all the improvements to gameplay, a lot of glitches that they fixed, uh, things like franchise mode updates, um, you know, stuff like that. That was the major update. This one here is the, the weekly update for the player ratings, which I've been trying to put out. So if you guys missed the title update and want to find out what glitchy plays they patched because there was a lot and what glitches they took care of in franchise mode because there was also some important ones there, I'll leave a link in the description. That was yesterday's video. Today's video, like I said, I'm going to go over some of the details that I didn't go over from that patch, and I'm also going to go over the player ratings like I typically do. But as always, if you guys want to see more videos like this, hit the like button let me know in the comment section. Other than that, I'm going to go ahead and get right into it. I'm going to get right into the player ratings first, and I'll leave the, uh, the, the stuff from yesterday's patch till the end because I, I know a lot of people uh, basically tune into this video because they want the player ratings um, every week. Uh, so, I, so there is a specific audience for this. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and start off with the going up. Now, every week I do this, I always start off with the same player because I'm an Eagles fan. And I'm always complaining that Jalen Hurts isn't rated high enough. And he has been getting a one-point ratings boost every single week since the game came out based off the fact maybe that the Eagles are winning. I know it's an individual thing, but for some reason it seems to go with team success, which I've explained a lot in the past. And this week was the first week that Jalen Hurts did not get a ratings boost at all. Um, he did not get a plus one. He's been getting a plus one every week. He did get a plus two the one week, I think, against the Steelers when he threw for four touchdown passes. But this week, he got nothing. He has a uh, He's at an 83 overall rating, which I think most people would, would agree is still too low. Um, he is still one of the leading MVP candidates, although a player that I'll get into in a little bit, Intua Tungavailoa, actually got a four-point ratings increase and jumped ahead of Jalen Hurts. He was an 80 overall. Now he's an 80 40. He jumped ahead of Jalen Hurts, which I take special. I, I take special, um, you know, exemption from. I'm not sure if that's even the right word, but ultimately, I, I feel like that is. I don't know if they're saying that he's, you know, a, I've never seen any player get a plus four, which is my my biggest issue with that. And for him to specifically jump ahead of Jalen Hurts, who even though he didn't get a plus one, I mean it's not like he had a bad game against Washington. He threw he scored every touchdown that the Eagles had. He had three touchdowns in the game. So what more could he do? If Quez Watkins held on to that ball, they probably win that game. And there's a number of things they didn't lose the game because of Jalen Hurts. So it's ridiculous to me to uh, to basically see the heat. I mean he barely even played. If you at the end of the day, the reason that they lost is because the the, the Washington football team ran i mean the commanders i still have issues calling them that because it's a stupid name but the commanders ran the ball down the eagles throat and never really gave the, the eagles offense a chance to have the ball the eagles defense is on the field the whole game so it's really hard to to, to you know i just feel like he can he should continue to get that ratings boost based on the fact that i think we all agree he's still rated too low but past that let's get into the going up players uh tyree kill is the biggest name on this list as he is now a 98 overall and fully deserving considering the season that he's having uh, he's a guy that probably could hit a 99 uh, very soon, especially if he uh, continues his path towards breaking NFL records. Fred Warner, plus one. He's up to a 96, best linebacker in the game. Justin Jefferson, plus one. After that catch he made, he should have got a plus two. I know they they maxed out his spectacular catch to a 99, uh, which is fully worthwhile in my opinion. Quentin Nelson, plus one to a 95. I don't know what he did last week, but I do know that uh, you know he's a great player. Chris Jones, plus one to a 94, also a great player. Dexter Lawrence, he's been going up and down uh, throughout the year. He's got a plus one back to an 89. CD Lamb, plus one to an 86. Definitely had a big game, but but I know that uh, you know, a lot of people are complaining that he's just like dogging it on routes and stuff and costing, costing Dak interceptions. I was watching a video on that. So that seems a bit, uh, I mean, based off the stat line, he probably deserves it. Daniel Hunter plus one to an 86. It's a weird jump, by the way, from from four or five plus 90, really high plus 90 overall players, 94 above. Then it goes, it just cuts right through all that right to like an 89 and an 86 and it's like a lot of these guys are just like really low rated like this isn't a as big of a roster update as last week is basically my point uh derrick brown plus 186 grover stewart who i don't even know who that is plus 186 sounds like an offensive lineman for like the jaguars or something if i had to guess cj gardner johnson plus 185 i mean he did have another pick and he does lead the league he's up to six interceptions now if that guy didn't miss more tackles i mean he is one of the uh 
Um, you know, he, he, I think he's one of the league leaders in missed tackles as well. If it wasn't for that, he probably should be like a 90-something plus because he's having a great year. Colton Miller, plus 185. Uh, and then Patrick Peterson, like I said, there was a couple of guys that got some big ratings boost. Two interceptions in a, in a huge game, one to seal the game. Patrick Peterson gets a plus two overall, now back to an 84. Uh, I remember Patrick, Patrick Peterson as being one of the best players in the game. I know he's a little bit older now, but he seems to be having a bit of a resurgence based off of that last performance. And then, like I said, Tua Tungavailoa, a plus four overall. Like I said, I take I take that personally. You know what I'm saying? Like, how are you going to give a guy? The guy's having a great year. I'm not saying it's not. But if you can give him a plus four overall, I think Jalen Hurts could have got more than plus one every week at some point throughout the season. He's been having a great year, too. So that's pretty much the going up pile. Like I said, see, it seems a little bit incomplete. Also, didn't mention Jalen Waddle got a plus one. I don't even see him on here. Uh, so I don't know. Maybe this list isn't that great. But uh, but yeah, that's that's pretty much the go the going up. I think Jalen Wilds up to an eighty eight or an eighty nine. Uh, going down, some big names here. Not a lot of quarterbacks. Every week you typically have a lot of quarterbacks, and uh, there's some interesting ones here for sure. As Cooper Cup leads the way, guy was almost a ninety nine overall. I know he's not. I think he's injured. I, if for some reason guys get going down, it's based off of injuries. But Cooper Cup leads the way at a negative one, down to a ninety seven overall. DeAndre Hopkins, who immediately was getting ratings boost when he got, came back from his suspension, has got a minus one back down to a 95. Josh Allen, minus one, down to a 94. Definitely uh, has been pooping the bed a little bit in his couple, his most recent games. So that I understand. And this is the one that's probably going to piss people off the most. Mika Parsons, negative one to a 93 overall. He's been a high riser all year. Let me know what you guys think about that. Like, did he do something in the last Cowboys game that uh, basically cost him a, a ratings point? I really don't know. Um, but yeah, that's that's an interesting one. Joel Batonio, negative one to ninety one overall. Ryan Ramchek, negative one to eighty eight. Vita Vea, once again, every week. I mean, he, uh, he's he's one of the league leaders and sacks most defensive tackles. But for some reason, he keeps getting negative one overall. I don't know if he's not doing his job against the run. Down on eighty eight. Adrian Amos down one to an eighty seven. Kenny Clark down one to an eighty seven. Brandon Cooks down one to an eighty five. Is Brandon Cooks even playing? Like I thought he was holding out after he got traded. Uh, DeForest Buckner negative one to an eighty five. And then Josh Allen, the defensive end or outside linebacker from the Jaguars, negative one down 85. So that's pretty much it for the players' ratings. Let me know in the comment section which ones you guys agree and don't agree with. Other than that, like I said, I didn't go over a couple of things from yesterday's big title update, uh, mostly because I don't really think anybody plays these. Like the Yard got an update, Superstar KO got an update, and most of that stuff was just like general stability issues because nobody really plays those game modes as far as I know. Uh, but I will go a little bit more into the NFL authenticity updates since this is basically all about players. And there was a lot of players who players like this were updated that I really didn't go over. So, big list here. There's also a lot when it comes to equipment. I did have somebody say that they did not fix the Jets' um, new helmets, uh, which there really isn't anything here. They, they, they did a lot as far as fixing uh, cleats, visors, and uh, gloves, which are having issues. They went as far as to say cleats and gloves not working properly. What does that even mean? They're shoes. You wear them. Like, only EA can mess something like that up. But there are some new cleats and gloves added. The Nike Superman 6.0, Nike Vapor Jet 7.0, Nike, I'm sorry, Jordan Vapor Jet 7.0, Jordan Superbad 6.0, and Jordan 7 Mid. So for, shoot, for sneakerheads out there that know what that is, uh, you guys, you know, should be excited. But the rest of us, the only thing that really changed was some player likeness updates, which means they really just went from, like, a computer-generated to face to much they put much more time into it there's a couple of punters on here start leading the way which is kind of weird Tressway from the commanders bradley pinion from the falcons uh nick bolton middle linebacker from the chiefs alexander madison running back from the vikings got uh you know backup running back for the vikings but a good player eric stokes quarterback for the packers dalton risner guard for the Brown broncos uh, Chris Lindsay, he's been in the league a very long time, former first-round pick. It's amazing to think he hasn't had his face put in the game yet. But he got his. Jack Fox, punter for the Lions. Adefi Owa uh, for the Ravens. Justin Britt for the Texans. Creed Humphrey for the Chiefs. Trey Smith for the Chiefs. A.J. Can for the Texans. And Malia Collins for the Texans. A lot of Texans on there for some reason. Uh, but that's pretty much it. So I'm going to end the video there. If you guys want to see me continue this video, just a short video today because I did a full breakdown yesterday uh, of the, uh, of, you know, very similar fashion. So I'll have a link in the description. It'll be popping up on the screen right now if you guys want to see that update video. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Much shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my videos and more. Link in the description below.